I'm the world's greatest Soulsborne player. This is an indisputable fact. I've uh, never played a Souls game before, or Bloodborne, or Elden Ring, but I'm pretty confident I'm the best. So today I'm gonna be teaching you how to be good at Elden Ring. I started my adventure by picking the Wretch. They start with a wooden club, and, and that's it. They don't have any armor, but that doesn't matter because armor is useless if you don't get hit. Elden Ring tip number one, don't get hit. And I've never been hit before, so why would I worry? I killed the army sortie guy. I don't need to show it because it's so, it's so obvious I killed him. Leaving the starting area, the first thing you'll see is this guy. Big golden horse guy. Now, some people think that he was put here to let you know that sometimes you'll find an enemy that's way too strong for you, and you should go level up, get some gear, and come back. That's not true. Just don't be a pussy and smack him with a club. Elden Ring tip number two. Don't be a pussy. Oh. So clearly I'm not supposed to fight this guy yet, so I killed a guy and stole his clothes. I want a better bonk stick, so I... Ow. Oh, hey, I perished. Ah. Ow, 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 okay, well. Got a cool sword and leveled up a few times without dying a single time. Now that I'm properly geared up, it's time to take on Big Golden Horse Guy without getting hit a single time. I dodged that and you know it. Fuck you. Ah, oh, okay, I did not dodge that one though. What? Stop doing that. Oh, fuck. Yep, yeah, okay. No, that's fair. That's fair. You know what? No, that's not fair. I did, but I, I beat him. I beat the boss. I don't... Fuck you. Ow. Okay, you know what? That one's on me. I dodged that. What? Okay, I'm calling Belogna on that one. That was some goofiness. That was some chicanery yeah okay that definitely I, i'll take that one that's fair and it's as easy as that and that's how you easily beat the golden horse guy now it's time to head south i found a funny looking circle elden ring tip number three circles are the best shape you're gonna find the best boss fights in a circle Ow, ow, okay. That could have gone better. I'm, I'm angry. So both of us have exclusively missed our attacks. Okay, he hit those. What? So I hit the dodge button. I just hit the dodge button after he hit me? That's, that's where I went wrong there. Elden Ring tip number four. Dodge before you get hit. Okay. Hey, I hit him. I hit him. I just, you know, didn't die. Uh. Yeah, it's fine. I don't care. Fuck! First try. Too easy. I continued to level up exclusively my strength because increasing vigor is for people who get hit. And I don't know what the other ones do. I found a second sword, and as we all know, Elden Ring tip number five, two swords is twice as many swords. I found a castle, which means there are probably stabbable things inside. I fought through some stabbable things. Okay, that's too many stabbable things. I ignored the stabbable things because uh, they're too easy and aren't worth my time. I found a fog gate, which usually means there's a boss fight. I'm sure this is gonna go great. Oh! Good! Wow! There we go. First try. Now that's a bonk stick. Elden Ring tip number six. Lacking the attributes to use something is just a state of mind. I'm using it. Uh, that said, I, it would be good to level up. I did a few dungeons for some easy runes. 
Oh, fuck. Well, that worked. That'll do it. Yep. Okay. Oh, a cutscene. Oh, uh, maybe I shouldn't have fought this guy yet. I am the best player in the world, though, so I'm sure it'll... Ow. Okay, so... I don't... I don't want to fight this guy, but now he's got my souls. So... Whoops. There go my dogs. Oh, now he attacked fast? I don't care for this one bit. Yeah, that's fair. He attacks so fast I can't dog. Yeah, I just didn't bother with that one. Okay, hear me out guys, hear me out, hear me out. Are you hearing me out? I don't think you are, but hear me out. Fuck this. So I left and got enough runes to be able to use the big bonk stick. Because as we all know, the bigger the sword, the better the player. I have upgraded my skill to immeasurable heights, which is insane because I was already playing perfectly. Now I'm just even more perfecter than perfect. I found another circle, and since circles are the best shape, I'm gonna do this before taking on that Margaret guy again. I have still put zero points into Vigor. That didn't hit me. That's some Balagna. Dodged. Dodged. Okay, so don't roll away from the stomp. That was no good. Oh, he Dragon Man now. Okay. Fuck! Leave me alone. I'm fine. Oh, I was very not fine! Time for my ultimate strategy. Di dying. That's my ultimate strategy. Maybe I should have put points into Vigor. Okay, I really- I- for some reason, I was like, heavy attack makes sense here. It didn't. It didn't make sense there. That was dumb. And stupid. Ah, uh, it's not fine. Should I- I- I should just come back to this guy, right? This isn't worth my time. On the other hand, I'm gonna kill him. Yeah, okay. That one- that one- that was just a bad run. I did poor choices, and then bad things happened. That adds up. That makes sense. I'm angry. <clears throat> oh. I've come to a conclusion. Fuck this guy, I don't want to fight him. So, uh, yeah, I killed the Crucible Knight. Anyway, time to fight Margaret again. That was such a fucking delayed attack. Question! Ha! How? Why? How? Can you just not? So... Did you guys know there's a cliff there? It doesn't matter what game I'm playing, I can never escape cliffs. Yeah, that's fair. Ow! Ow! Okay. Oh, don't do that! Fucked up! I fucked up! Oh, I fucked up big! Too easy! And just like that, I beat the game. Which brings me to Elden Ring tip number seven. D uh, just win. That way you won't lose.